Happy Monday, everybody. Mr. Robin here of the Cosmic City Blog. This is the first in our almost daily blogcast targeted for those of you who are simply too lazy to read the blog. I'm joined by Cousin Fred at the controls. Say good morning, Cousin Fred. Cousin Fred says, hey, the past few days have been a wild time here around the compound with successive storms that seem to increase in ferocity with each passing. Last night we had, unofficially, 80 mile per hour straight line winds, waiting for the sun to come up so we can survey for any new damage around here. The rain has been good. Since early Friday, we've had just under four inches of precip out here on this hill, according to the crack compound weather team. That would be Cousin Fred and myself. But that's enough. Time to get back to near drought conditions for at least another week. We Oklahomans are a strange bunch. We bitch when it doesn't rain, and then we bitch when it does. Welcome to my world. The thing is, the weekend Channel 9 weather guesser stand-in got it wrong both Saturday and Sunday nights. He poo-pooed the storm Saturday, turning into much of anything. Trust me, it was. And he said he expected Sunday night storms to collapse. They didn't. And not become anything. They did. Weather guessing. It's what he does. It's how he makes his mark. Idiots. But then again, I guess we must give him some benefit of the doubt. After all, weather forecasting on the plains is, by its very nature, unpredictable. But you know what is predictable? The one constant and an ever-changing universe that you can always count on? Disgraced holy man Jim Baker, also known as Crimea River Jim. That's what. He's back. This time he's hustling a silver-based gel and liquid that, according to Brother Jim, can cure all forms of venereal disease. He, Crimea River Jim, says it's a miracle in a tube. Now then, we at CCB have been following this nutcase for the past year or so as he launched his survivalist food in a bucket, still trying to force myself to try the freeze-dried possum stew that Cousin Fred ordered for me for my birthday. Brother Jim's even tried to sell all of his survivalist cabins at his survivalist prepper resort in Missouri. He never revealed the cost of the alleged cabins, but you can bet it was going to be huge. In between mouthfuls of possum stew and 1,000-year biscuits eaten during his show, which is really nothing more than a slick infomercial made to look like an actual broadcast show, he's told us that God will strike down people like me who make fun of him. Okay, that last statement is only partially true. He did threaten those of us who make fun of him, saying that God would strike us dead, but he's never so much as peeked at the crap in the buckets that he sells. For the record. In case you're wondering, the FDA has not approved this miracle in a bottle and or tube. Not a chance. He doesn't even list the ingredients on the tubes of gels or bottles of liquid. One physician in an article I read referred to it as colloidal silver solution that has been touted as a cure-all for everything from parasites to AIDS to chronic fatigue. In layman's terms, it's snake oil. And Brother Jim's magic cure-all isn't cheap, oh no. It costs money to cure that weird rash on your parts. But after all, parts is parts. It's $25 for a four-ounce tube of gel known in the industry as a quarter pounder and $40 for a 16-ounce bottle of liquid. The pounder. There are supposedly 96 doses of liquid per bottle. A case, one dozen, would cost you $175 for the gel and $250 for the liquid. It pays to buy in bulk from this hustler. And now we know why he's hustling these various products, most of which are a day late. Prepper stuff, for instance, is so 2016. I suppose next it'll be a full line of deodorizing products for the Bigfoot. But it seems that Crimea River Jim is in deep with those rat bastards at IRS going all the way back to his days of shenanigans with Tammy Faye and the PTL Club. That, by the way, is Pass the Loot Club. Television Empire. The man has $5.5 million in IRS tax liens hanging around his neck. Wow. Now I feel kind of bad for bad him and risking the wrath of God in the process. Nah, not really. But what the heck. 
Maybe we should all buy a tube of Miracle to help a brother out. That is all. Oh, be sure to like us and share this content. Let's be a beacon for snark in a snark-resistant world, shall we? Until next time, Mr. Robin and Cousin Fred signing off. Thank you.